So, um, just, I don't work there anymore, but I want to talk about a patient a little bit that I, that I met. Um, he was in a drug deal and he's a quadriplegic and he's been in bed for a number of years and his limbs are contracted and they had to remove one of them. And he's so cute. He's the cutest little black guy. Um, got a couple kids, but they can't see him because just really disturbing. Um, he likes to eat. He likes to taste different foods and he likes hot sauce and he has a TV, but he can't move his arm. Well, he's only got one arm, but his legs. Um, and he'll say, he's like, I knew I was doing something I shouldn't be doing. And I thought, yeah, but teenagers do those things. Um, but if you're in an upper middle class or wealthy family, you're not going to get shot, most likely. So I, I do think it's an economic development kind of problem. And it's unfortunate because, you know, that's costing everybody a lot of money. He got shot, you know, and he's a quadriplegic for the rest of his life. He's had surgeries and stuff to, like I said, to remove his arm that had gotten gangrened. Um, he watches TV. The look on his face is like he's cute and he's got his hair up and he's really, really handsome. But then when you pull the sheets back, you have to change his uh, depends and things like that. And he, he gets a little like because you can see what you see. And, and I guess the expression on your face, when you look at what you look at, when you see his body, it's beyond like deep bed sores that he can't feel because he's quadriplegic and they're life-threatening, of course, because if the, he could get sepsis. And um, I guess my point in making this, I don't think it'll prevent people from doing stupid stuff, um, but maybe an impression of it, like, ah, you know, I know, you know, sometimes I feel like killing myself, and I'm like, yeah, but what if you mess up? You know, you don't want to live in a bed, you know, if it gets messed up, and you don't kill yourself, and you're bedridden for the rest of your life. So that is, you know, one of my thoughts. So that's why I'm sharing this. But he's a nice guy, and it's just too bad.